fashion program has degrees in fashion design, fashion merchandising, and computer fashion technology. Our student is diverse, and that's part of what makes teaching at community college really wonderful. They, they range in all ages from sometimes 17 to 70s. We've been working in a collaborative way for a lot of years with many different entities in San Diego. And so when SOC approached us, it was like, whoa, this is exciting. This is something new and different. And to marry science with fashion was you know, an extreme challenge for us and for the students. We had the opportunity to meet with SOC scientists and actually get to see part of their science and interpret it in our own way, which is amazing for student designers here at Mesa College to show a little bit of what we're capable of. A scientist like myself is paired up with a designer to come up with a garment that is uh, scientifically inspired. So I had these images of uh, a region in the brain that's called the cerebellum that's important for motor movement. So the garment that uh, I've designed based on Hermina's scientific images and her input as well is one that uh, will demonstrate what happens when somebody moves and essentially what that is is that that movement is being controlled by the cerebellum. Because this region of the brain is involved in movement and it involves neurons which fire. Rachel um, had the idea to design the garment with LED lights which turns on and flicker in response to the model moving. Oh, it works. it works! I think we're both of the same mindset that we're very excited to be participating in the project and having a lot of fun with it. I never would have guessed the students would have embraced the science as strongly as they did or raised themselves to the level of um, creativity and production as they did. The garments are all ready now. Uh, they've been fitted to the models. I've worked with my model uh, all summer long. So what we've done is we actually have a little computer up in that casing and a power source and then it runs down through a wire into the different components of the dress. So yeah, we were having a little bit of trouble with it. It's working, but we have a couple of bugs that we need to take care of before the final event. They went through that whole creative process of ideation and then how am I going to do it? Try this, that didn't work. Try that, that didn't work and continue. So they took it very seriously and performed at a very high level. I think that we're all feeling like we've achieved something pretty significant. So we're excited about the, about the fashion show. And I hope that it really does translate the science to some people. It's a good opportunity to be able to communicate with the general public through this art. The show was fantastic. It was absolutely beautiful. It came together wonderfully. I'm extremely grateful for Salk and all the models and everyone who participated in the show and brought it together and made it come to life. It was a pretty amazing project all the way around.